Now, when you thought that 2020 couldn't get any worse, well, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, said that figures confirm the hard times are here. The UK has now officially entered the largest recession in its history, according to records, after data showed that the pandemic sent the economy plunging between the months of April and June by 20.4%, a massive decline. The ONS, or the Office of National Statistics, has confirmed the UK's entry into recession for the first time since the financial crisis after the record-breaking contraction in the second quarter, which follows a 2.2% fall in the previous three months, just after the UK officially left the EU. The second quarter figures show that the UK suffered the biggest economic hit from the pandemic in Western Europe, with numbers beating those of Spain, which saw an 18.5% drop. The data released by the ONS on Tuesday showed around 730,000 UK workers have been removed from payrolls since the lockdown began. At the same time, employment has also dropped by its largest amount since 2009, when the world suffered an economic crisis. This is just the beginning. It means that as jobs are lost, more and more industries will contract. That means more and more people will also stay at home due to the fact that many businesses are looking at ways to cut costs. This recession will be long-lasting unless the government takes a completely different approach to stimulating the economy. The tools of the 20th century and even the last financial crisis will not cut it anymore. Data shows that the UK economy is now 22.1% smaller than it was at the end of 2019, and 17.2% below levels seen back in February. The UK saw a small recovery back in June, as shops began to reopen along with factories beginning to start production. House building also saw somewhat of a recovery. This was all thanks to the ending of the lockdown for these sectors. However, GDP is still just one-sixth of where it was back in February, before the pandemic struck. Data also shows that the hospitality industry has been the worst hit, with productivity falling two-thirds in the space of just a few months. Now, as the lockdown was ending, some hoped to see a V-shaped recovery, but the Bank of England, the UK's central bank, poured icy water on that by saying that it would take much longer to rebound than previously predicted. The bank's current forecast is that the UK will not return to pre-virus levels until the end of 2021. However, this prediction has not factored in the elephant in the room when it comes to the UK economy, that being Brexit. The UK, unfortunately, is in a great deal of pain at the moment, and as it struggles to get over it, in January it seems hell-bent on doing even more unnecessary damage to itself. Now, there are some measures, such as extending the furlough scheme and replacing universal credit with something more akin to a universal basic income. This would actually protect the public from any recession. It would also help stimulate both the national and local economies. But sadly, I don't think the Chancellor is interested in doing either of these. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. Why not become a Patreon and enjoy access to our Discord server where we share news, chat, and have some fun. If you become a Patreon, you can also make video suggestions on topics that are important to you. Check it out via the link in the description.